everyone. Uh, you probably heard over the last year or so when we had the bees that we've been suffering with Asiatic hornets, um, which are felon Asiatic in France, which are a real nightmare. They've been attacking the bees left, right and centre. So we've invested in a few traps. So we've got some new ones arrived today, uh, which uh, are from Spain. They are uh, what they call electric harps. So we don't know really what's in the box. So uh, bear with us, we'll go open it, put them together, and uh, hopefully we will find that we've got a good product that'll keep the hornets at bay, shall we say, and uh, the bees will have a much better year. <laughs>
that was a job and a half just to get this far. We're not nowhere near finished, but uh, small photographs, very um, loose phraseology <laughs> in assembly instructions meant that we went upside down, side, round side, and back again. And we've ended up this far. We'll keep going. After a difficult um, construction of the frame of the harp to protect the bees from the Asiatic hornets, we've now got to the point where we have to put the cords, the wires, in. They're quite fiddly, not for chunky fingers. Um, as you'll see here, there's the very fine cords. Then we have to construct one end with a tiny knot in this stay. Some of them will have beads in the middle that um, attract the hornet. And then the other end has a knot, a tiny ball bearing and a spring. So that when it's attached, it will be taut like this. both frames frame number two a little bit easier to do as we didn't uh, have so many problems with what to push what to pull and measuring the wires we got that off to a fine art uh, so they're all kind of connected up now we got uh, a little in and out on both we've got a solar panel that's going to power it so it's all going to be sound sufficient and uh, over the next day or so we will locate them down in by the hives and uh, we will update you on how successful they are have a good weekend Bye.